Hey guys, welcome back to the Mandy's Nails channel. I just wanted to jump on here real quick and get the beginning of this video done. I'm using a filter right now because I look like a disaster. But anyways, in this video, I'm going to be doing a set of nails on my friend's daughter's nails. Her name is Tiara. We're using the Mint Ninja Acrylic from Glitter Planet. And we're also gonna be using the Mojito glitter that was in my last video. And we will also be using the white hearts that I used when I did my nails. And yeah, let's get into it. Okay, since I've already prepped the nails and pushed back the cuticles, I am going to start out with my Mia Secret Dehydrator. Now we're gonna go in with my Nao Nails Acid Primer. You're gonna wanna put one coat of that on and then one coat on each nail right before you put the acrylic on. I'll be using my Mia Secret Monomer, Mint Ninja Acrylic Powder, the Mojito Glitter Mix from Glitter Planet. And also, we decided to use these white hearts that I got from Amazon. So as you see, first I put another coat of the primer on and then go in with the Mint Ninja. And I'm going to put that on each one of the nails except for the middle nail. I will be putting the glitter on and the hearts. So when I use colored acrylics, I use a small amount of it because I encapsulate with clear. That just saves product and saves money. So I use the least amount that I can when I use the color. And then I usually do the shaping and everything with the clear.
I wanted to let you guys know while you're laying acrylic down, it is a must to have the finger pointed downward. So that way the acrylic will run down and not into the cuticles. Sorry, I have my little girl here. Um, but anyways, I you don't have to do it the way that I do it. I use small beads so I have more control. It takes a little bit longer, but that's just how I feel comfortable doing it. It's just it's pretty much all preference really. And the size brush that I use is a size eight. Sometimes I use a size 10, yeah, size 10 or 12, I can't remember, but I use the bigger brushes when I am encapsulating, when I'm using the clear to cover everything. And you also want to always encapsulate the nails if you're using a color and when you use glitter because that gives it the extra strength that it needs. Uh -huh. Guys, I seriously just rambled on and on thinking that I was recording and I didn't. <laughs> Anyways, I know I always say this when I work with Glitter Planet acrylic powders, but it is seriously so buttery and I am going to continue to keep saying it because it is fantastic. And ladies, let me tell you, I have a ton of stuff in my Glitter Planet cart. I am about to press the order button tonight, and I'm so excited! I'm going to have another huge haul to record for you guys, and I cannot wait! I cannot wait. There's going to be not tons, but there's going to be more acrylic, definitely. And, of course, glitter. But, anyways... You guys have that to look forward to. I mean, I do. I hope you guys enjoy it too, but it's coming. It's coming. Okay, now on to the middle fingers that I put the glitter on, mojito, and the heart. Sorry, my daughter just jumped on my back. First, I lay down a thin layer of the Mint Ninja. So that way, because with chunky glitter, especially around the cuticle, sometimes there are some missing spots that you can see. And I just wanted to try and make it blend in a little bit. But then I take a little bit of the Nail Nails clear acrylic and get a small bead on there and then I'll dip it in the glitter and just kind of spread it around where I need it. Then I will go ahead and take the white hearts that I showed you. There's like three different sizes that come in the pots and I'm gonna place those on the nail as well and after that is all set up I'm gonna take the Nail Nails Crystal Clear and I'm going to encapsulate every single nail to make sure that it's formed right and to make sure it has the strength that it needs to last two to three weeks.
Now for the encapsulating part. I also want to let you guys know I have placed an order with Model 1s as well because I have been wanting to try their acrylics out. I heard that they were pretty good. I mean, I've seen videos and everything. Um, I'm also going to do a video of that when it gets here. I checked the status today and it is finally moving on its way to California and then it'll be heading to me in Missouri. So be looking for that video as well. A big thank you to all of my subscribers. I appreciate each and every one of you. Please don't forget to like and share and please leave me a comment. I love talking to you guys and I can't wait to get to know everyone. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. I have lots of fun things that are coming this way. Um, I mostly end up doing videos every weekend is when I get them done. And then I usually post them on Monday. Um, this video was an exception because I had an extra that I recorded because I was brave enough to actually post one of the videos I recorded of doing someone else because usually it doesn't turn out very well and actually I wish that I had the camera angled in a different position long ways instead of up and down I I thought it was going to work out but I don't know it, it turned out all right but it's not positioned the way I want anyways Thank you all so very much. I hope you guys have a great week and I hope you're staying safe where I'm at right now in Missouri, a little tiny town in Missouri. We have had a lot of freezing rain and snow and tomorrow will be day two of the kids having their school canceled. So hope you all stay safe. Have a great and I'll let you watch the rest of the video. Now, I don't show the file shape and buffing, but after I finish um, cleaning up the shape and filing everything and cleaning it off, I go ahead and go in with my McCart top coat. We ended up using the shiny, and I apply that on all the nails. There it is. And then you want to go ahead and cure that for 30 seconds in the LED light, LED UV. Um, if you use a matte top coat, I usually do it for 60 seconds because sometimes it takes a little bit longer for some reason for that to cure properly.
After curing for 30 seconds, then I go in with my Profiles Backstage Cuticle Oil. I can't remember what the name of it is, like the kind, but I usually use the one that smells like Fruity Pebbles, and it's in the purple. But here is the finished result. It is nice and cute and simple, and I really enjoy doing it. I hope you guys have a wonderful week, and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.